Uh, hello Microsoft Gamer, uh, hello everyone else, uh, welcome to my stream. Uh, this is gonna be a pretty short one. Uh, I just want to check out those um, uh, authors I just made. Uh, the idea is uh, to uh, set the water masks uh, uh, distance fr from the shore uh, up to 22 kilometers. Uh, 22,000 meters. Uh, basically, I wanted to cover the whole of the uh, Biscayne Bay and uh, uh, the whole of uh, Florida Bay. So, uh, we're gonna have some uh, uh, coral reefs uh, that could be used uh, as a actual visual navigation uh, uh, references and uh, some other stuff. Okay, um, here's gonna be our EFB. Uh, our uh, equipment is gonna be the uh, famous uh, cocaine carrier, I mean, sorry, um, Florida Cruiser, Cessna uh, 310 by Milvis. Anyway, let's get flying. <laughs> Master switch on. My goodness, this thing is so loud. Your bombs off. Alternators off. Anti collision light on. Max on. Go flaps open. Throttles slightly open. And starting up. Prime until stabilizes. Repeat for the second engine. We are running now. Oops. One thing. Let's set our Noise cancellation headset settings. Because this plane is really loud. Now lights. Taxi light on. Uh, Avionix master on. By V4, altitude reporting mode. Okay, I believe we're good to go. Pick up the weather. Zero. Although the wind sock already shows us uh, which one we're gonna use. Kilo Mike Tango Hotel Airport information. Juliet two zero zero one Zulu weather wind one two four at one one visibility one zero sky condition few clouds at two thousand. All right. Flaps ten. Elevator trim set for takeoff.
<laughs> uh, no, Microsoft Gamer. This is a uh, 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 this is a uh, Active Sky. Uh, uh, one of the Active Sky internal vo voices. Uh, it is uh, uh, Active Sky uh, generates this uh, 80s on uh, 1 to 2.0 and uh, uh, basically broadcasted uh, from uh, the nearest airport. Uh, basically, you can uh, pick up uh, the nearest airport 80s uh, from uh, anywhere. Mm, maybe, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, three zero one three approximate elevation. All right. Check the max. Drop is good. Check the governor. Heathering works nice. Uh, okay, I think we're good to go. To keep the habit, let's turn on the landing lights, switch off taxi lights, and let's roll. Uh, by the way, we are taking off from uh, Florida Keys uh, Marathon on the uh, key uh, of the same name. You can actually see it on the EFB um, on the um, gear up, uh, flaps up. Uh, on the flight plan go screen uh, which is basically uh, from my phone. Okay, why is it so sensitive? And for pressure just a bit. Oh, the RPMs. What we can get into. Hmm. Interesting. Give me a second here. This is your, this is our own. I forgot which uh, joystick buttons I set up for which one. Where I don't really notice any difference. Let's actually head towards those uh, coral reefs. 
where the difference might be uh, a bit more noticeable. Hopefully. And I had to get used to the fact that uh, uh, 3TM basically jumps into the air and... Uh, ...basically pushes it to the, to the limit uh, right away. Like, uh, it's, it's a really fast, it's a really powerful plane. I'd say uh, maybe even slightly overpowered. Okay, uh, we are coming up on something. Looks not exactly as a as an island. Mhm. Mm Actually, that does look like a like a water mask. Okay, let's see what it's gonna look like up close. Yeah, this is definitely not any kind of islands. It's the smaller Florida Keys out there. Which are actually really small islands, but no. This actually does look like the water mask. Yeah, that definitely looks some kind of uh, either coral reef or shallow water, but uh, I would say it's uh, a bit more angular than than uh, it would be. It would make sense for it to be, but maybe it's due to the uh, uh, due to the uh, different overlapping. Uh, Yeah, I guess this is due to the different overlapping uh, uh, water masks from the uh, different parts of the scenery. So, uh, 22 kilometers might be an overkill. Although, here it looks a bit more... Yeah, it looks a bit nicer. Also, this might might be uh, some uh, artifacts on the um, uh, being um, author imagery. So, 
I mean, uh, uh, authors uh, that we use uh, usually uh, basically uh, uh, made uh, out of uh, tiles from the different uh, planes uh, uh, that were making uh, the aerial uh, uh, photography and uh, different satellites. So it might be the artifacts of the uh, actual. Uh, Of the actual author. Some money for pressure. Now this, this looks like a uh, legit masks. From the sand. Uh, close to the shoreline like shallow waters uh, near this shoreline so this part does look a bit nicer it actually does make sense to have it here I mean these already could be used as a uh, visual uh, references Anyway, let's find ourselves some coral reefs. Most of this is uh, near the uh, is uh, near the Key Largo, next to Ocean Reef uh, Golf Club, with its private airstrip. Let's just head there. This plane is actually uh, really uh, amazing in uh, terms of uh, actual cruising. I would say that uh, if uh, uh, that on the short flights, uh, like uh, up to like 100 miles, uh, you don't really need uh, an autopilot uh, in it because it's really easy to trim it out to hold uh, any direction. Uh, to hold a starting level flight, to uh, hold the uh, uh, stable climb, uh, basically anything. Hmm. Well, I uh, I don't know how about you, but I actually like what I got here. It actually now looks like the uh, sandy areas near the shore. What does it like now, though? One hundred percent to be load for some reason. Yeah, that texture looks like sense. Okay, now this actually looks looks just stunning. Th like this part already makes this uh, uh, worth uh, 
the time uh, it ta it took to make it all, to make uh, those authors, because. All, all this uh, shallow water actually does look shallow now. It looks like those uh, sandy shores, uh, those uh, small uh, sounds. I don't know. I, I like it. Okay, coming up on uh, 42 Fox Street Alpha. Uh, this is our Ocean Reef Airport. Oh, uh, correction. This is uh, this is Tavern Hour. Uh, this is Tavern Hour Park, which we can use as a. Rest field. Uh, so the uh, ocean reef is going to be a bit f further to the east. My goodness, it actually looks gorgeous. Continuing towards the ocean reef. What's our fuel situation? Close the coal flaps. Uh, again, I don't know about you guys, but I think this looks awesome. Hmm. 
Is this how they made? Yeah, if uh, if there weren't those bordering tiles, which actually make it look a bit broke, a bit broken, it would be just I don't know. It it would be just magical. What? At this point, it just it's just it's really nice. It it really looks great. Yeah, kind of sucks. Okay, to be honest, this part I don't really understand. It, it looks like just... It doesn't even look like water. I'm not sure why. Like, maybe it's uh, so shallow that... You don't actually see any water. But here, this part is... is just... Just word. Or maybe it was captured in a dry season. I don't know. On um, I don't know. No, I, I don't believe so. This uh, this looks like uh, it's uh, actually the correct uh, imagery for this uh, location. I mean, uh, it, it corresponds to the uh, to the actual terrain uh, shown on the uh, 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 shown on the sectionals. But it looks like it was uh, captured in a dry season or in a low tide or something uh, when uh, there's basically no water. So, um, or maybe, uh, or maybe it was uh, the sunlight uh, that was uh, uh, that was uh, basically lighting it up uh, in some uh, weird way, uh, making some weird uh, reflection. I don't know. Um, yeah. I mean, uh, those uh, uh, small keys, they all have uh, the imagery. It's the correct author for them. So... Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just not sure what what is this. Okay, uh, we're actually at the Key Largo. 07 Fox Alpha is uh, Ocean Reef's club, so... Let's find uh, find ourselves some coral reefs. Here they are, marked with those stars on the sectionals. Oh, 
Oh my goodness, 8 viewers. Uh, everyone, uh, welcome to the channel. We're checking out some... Some weird approach to make coastal uh, ortho. Basically, 22 kilometers out of the water masks. And so far, I have a mixed feeling about this. Like, like this part is uh, just plain weird. It's. I, I can't even tell uh, if it looks like water or not. On the other hand, uh, there were parts uh, where it looked like it, it looked just gorgeous, like uh, absolutely beautiful, uh, like an actual good shorelines, all that stuff. Okay, uh, coral reefs, coral reefs. They should be somewhere around here. Yeah, I honestly don't see any like obvious uh, reefs here. So, I mean, maybe those uh, large outlines are the actual reefs. I mean, I'll be honest with you. I've never seen uh, one uh, in real life. So. I, I'm not the one uh, to actually judge. Also, this uh, angular shape uh, from the different uh, photo, uh, different uh, imagery is uh, a bit annoying too. But uh, this is like uh, directly from the being um, uh, aerial imagery, because uh, like this is how it looked like, uh, what it looked like on the preview. So. I don't think uh, there is any reason to complain about it. Okay, here's Ocean Reef. Yeah, I think that actually uh, are the coral reefs. That actually are the coral reefs. Uh, like, see those shapes that are definitely underwater but don't look uh, like sand. It looks like those are the actual coral reefs. Well, <coughs> yeah, 
Okay, I'm I'm not sure. Okay, uh well just for the sake of it, uh, let's uh make a flyover um of uh, Miami Beach because uh, uh I kinda want to show off the uh, author I, I made uh, the whole Miami Beach in uh, Zoom level 18. So it should look actually really good. Okay. Here it looks actually amazing. This is when uh, those uh, huge watermarks uh, show themselves uh, at the best. At, at their best. Like. This is honestly looks amazing. Yeah, those uh, light shapes, uh, uh, those are definitely the coral reefs. Either way... Some speed boards from the water masks. Again, no pressure, sandy, temperature, cool temperature. Everything looks good. This part looks a bit on the worst side. Yeah. Uh, it feels like the part I'm uh, overflying right now uh, was uh, taken. Uh, during the low tide, when uh, all the stuff uh, was uh, uh, close to the surface and uh, obvious. Uh, the other part was uh, taken uh, uh, on the high tide when uh, everything was uh, deep under the water and uh, uh, wasn't reflecting the light and basically uh, wasn't obvious. So. That actually makes sense, but not as much sense as. But uh, it doesn't make it really better. Anyway, you already can see uh, Miami downtown skyline. Uh, I actually uh, uh, just uh, completely ditched uh, the. Uh, Drzewiecki uh, uh, design uh, uh, Miami City because uh, to be fair uh, it's uh, it's a very old scenery it's uh, it was made in 2015 and its uh, draw distance is ridiculous like uh, uh, I think uh, you start to see the uh, silhouettes of the buildings uh, at only at around um, uh, what is it I think uh, around uh, 10 or 5 uh, miles out, nautical miles out. And it basically doesn't make sense. You don't see the skyline. You basically, uh, from the particular distance, see only the flat earth. 
uh, not to mention uh, a pretty low resolution uh, author photos. So after the author photos, uh, so after the um, uh, um, after I installed the author photos for uh, Miami that uh, were excluded by Jurassic Design uh, without uh, replacing them actually, I went ahead and completely replaced uh, Jurassic authors with uh, uh, the ones I made. After that, I replaced the uh, actual city scenery, and uh, basically there was left nothing to replace because airports uh, from uh, Gateway already were uh, not as uh, outdated uh, as uh, those uh, uh, that were in uh, the uh, Drzebeski scenery. So basically, I switched uh, from. Uh, uh, basically, I switched from uh, payware to freeware, and uh, so far, I, I can't even tell anything bad about this uh, freeware, because uh, it it's just much better. That's from some other flight. Yeah, that's from the morning flight. Coming up on uh, Miami Beach. Here's Miami City downtown. Which doesn't really interest us so much. Or actually, if any of you guys uh, want to check it out, I can make a small, uh, short overflight. Like, this is the day, because uh, I'm not really often doing this. Uh, I'm not really doing stuff uh, that isn't completely... Uh, that is completely illegal. Because uh, mostly fly on Vatsim and Pilot Edge. Where it's not really why people don't really like it. So, hey, Major Kong, well, welcome to the stream. Okay, now this is some great author. Although I'm not sure why uh, there is no overlay. Maybe Miami City exclusions. Maybe something else. But this looks fantastic. Hey, golf club! Do you guys like golf? I love golf. Uh, Major Con, uh, from what I noticed, TBM sometimes uh, tend to do this stuff on its own, so it might be even not your fault. So. S sometimes uh, with TBM, uh, you just kind of have to roll with it I until it's fixed. 
Because Toto usually tries to fix it as soon as possible. When he can... Yep, this is Miami City downtown. This is Miami Beach and for some reason again I don't see any overlays. I'm, I'm not even sure why. I mean, that honestly looks great even without uh, overlays. But... Yeah. Yeah, that's the problem with this. Sceneries, graphical artifacts. I see. So basically, uh, uh, not a uh, outdated nav, da nav data. Yeah, that happens. So, so it was. So it basically didn't have the waypoint you were trying to enter. Well. It's just, just sometimes happens. Okay, uh, and let's do something completely legal. For the dessert of the stream. Gear down, flaps down. And let's land on the beach. Ups up. Next. Max. Avenix cut. Avenix off. This thing's cut off. Everything else off. <sighs> okay, guys. Uh, thank you for being with me uh, for this short flight. I hope you liked it. I hope you made some kind of... Uh, um, uh, I hope you made some kind of decisions from it. Uh, if you want to do this, uh, like ridiculous uh, or water masks or not, um, I, I hope to see you on the future stream. And uh, 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 thank you for visiting. Uh, uh, follow me. Uh, subscribe to my Twitter, to my YouTube channel, and uh, I will see you next time. Bye. Uh, actually, let's let's jump into uh, Andrew's stream right now.
in case. Yep. Let's go ahead. Seven, thank you for the raid. Hmm. 